all right so we have brought all our images right here and what we're going to do next we're going to learn how to transform edit move around all the images that we have to create one single reference sheet so if you guys look at my layers these are all my files right here if i hide the visibility of the top layers we can see what's below that so what i need to do now i need to start moving things around and editing my reference sheet and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide every single layer by clicking on the eyeball and i'm going to pick one of them right away and the tool that we're going to use is called the free transform tool the free transform tool is found under edit free transform the shortcut is the command key or the apple key on a mac and the control key on a pc you have to make sure that you're in the right layer so make sure that you click on the layer that you want to transform and i'm going to go command t and notice that i have four anchor points on each corner and then four anchor points in the middle of my edges if i move my mouse outside of my image i can do a rotation while i'm doing the rotation if i hold the shift key it will snap in 15 degrees as you can see in the little dial right i'm going to go bring it back to the vertical position and if i go to one of my corners notice that this icon turns into a double-sided arrow and if i bring this object in notice that i can shrink it now i'm shrinking it but it's not shrinking proportionally all you have to do to fix that hold the shift key and notice that now we can either scale down or scale up our images proportionally I tend not to shrink this really, really small. I tend to go probably about three quarters to a half at the very beginning. And then move your mouse inside, let go of the shift key, move your mouse inside of your image, and then move this wherever you want it to be. Now to approve this transformation, just go to the very top on the options for the free transform tool, and then just click on this check button and your transformation has been executed. Now I would go to another image. So I'm going to turn on the image of Abraham Lincoln. Always make sure that you select the layer by clicking on the gray area to the right hand side. Make sure that you do not double click on the name because it's going to ask you to rename it. So just click on the gray area and again, edit free transform or Apple command T on a Mac control T on a PC. And here's our handles. I'm going to hold the shift key. I am going to move this image right here. I'm going to make this one smaller because I just want references. This one is bigger so I can see clearly the differences in the shapes that this character has. But here is black and this mustard yellow. So I can shrink this because there's not that much detail that I need to look at. Now the minimum amount of images that I require you to have is 16. No more than 24 but no less than 16. Why 16? Well, if you look at this image and you cut it in half, both horizontally and vertically, and then you cut it in half again, you will get 16 places to put your images. They don't have to be exactly 16. It can be 15, 16, 17, but just make sure that you don't go anything smaller than that because then you're not going to be able to see the detail. All right, let's continue. I'm going to select my next image right here. Command Apple T on a Mac. Control T on a PC and I'm going to hold the shift key so I can shrink this down proportionally. I'm going to move this guy right here. Notice that there is a snapping going on. Now you can make your image go past your canvas. That's not a big deal, but I'm going to move mine over here. Depending on the layer, you're going to get certain image covering the ones below. So always work with your layers. Command Apple T. Whoops. Notice that I've in the wrong layer I want to be in this layer right here so I'm going to hit the check mark or enter and then I'm going to select the correct layer command T I'm going to move this guy right here I'm going to shrink it that's pretty good right there and what I'm going to do next I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to fast forward this video so you can see how I do all of my other transformations so here we go
Okay, so there we have it. I've applied all of my images the way I want it. This is less than 12, but I like the sizes because this is going to be on a secondary monitor. I don't want this to be any smaller. I can see the detail on my images. I can see and appreciate the differences in shading. Now let's say that I want to flip something around. Well, make sure that you select the actual layer. Command Apple T or Control T on a PC. You then move your mouse inside of your image. You can go right mouse button and you can flip your image in the horizontal direction. Get out of the transform tool by validating your transformation right up here on the options for the transform tool. Click on the check button and there you have it. You're out of the transform tool. And next what we're going to do is we're going to collapse all these images by going to the layers palette to the far right. Go to the menu and go to flatten image. It's going to ask you, do you want to discard the hidden layers? Say yes. And there you have it. You have a flattened image that now we are going to export using the Save for Web tool so we can have a very optimized, very light, but high quality JPEG. We'll see you on the next video.